Hi, it's Fanny of Living Richie on a Budget. Today we're making sushi bake. Sushi bake is a baked sushi casserole or deconstructed sushi roll. You get all the sushi flavor without having to roll it. This recipe feeds a lot of people. It's good for parties or large families. If you can't finish it, you can fridge it and bake it the next day and it's still great. When I've brought it to parties, people rave about it and they ask for the recipe. It's one of those dishes where people are like, oh my God, I have to have it. I also want to say that this recipe has a special meaning to me because I first posted it in 2007 when there weren't a lot of food blogs yet and it got popular and then I lost the food blog. So I thought I lost the recipe. I came across this recipe again in the internet archives, the original recipe with the posting and pictures. And I knew I had to share it with you because I know you're going to love this recipe because it tastes really good. It'll satisfy your sushi cravings and it's easy to make. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients for sushi bake. It's mayo, baby shrimp, imitation crab, furikake, tobiko, sour cream, and seaweed. So imitation crab meat, if you've never bought it before, you can find it in your Asian grocery store. It's either in the frozen or fresh section. And this one, I found it in the refrigerated section. It comes in a package and it's, each one is individually sealed. So you're gonna have to take off the wrapper. Since mine is fresh and thawed out, I'm gonna take off the wrapper and then I'm gonna chop it. But if you have, if you've gotten yours frozen, you can just let it thaw in hot water with a wrapper and then unwrap it and then chop it up. Imitation crab meat is basically um, seasoned white fish. I think it might be pollock. So they season it and flavor it to make it taste like crab. You can use fresh crab too if you have fresh crab or canned crab. We're just gonna chop up this crab meat. You just want it in small pieces so that it'll be flaky, like in a sushi roll. So just do some rough chopping until they look like this. Next, we have some baby shrimp. You can use regular shrimp as well, but baby shrimp, baby shrimp just works better because it just means you don't have to chop as much to get smaller pieces. You can use frozen or fresh shrimp. With frozen shrimp, just boil it for five minutes if it's cooked already. And if you're using frozen raw shrimp, then just boil it until it turns pink and it's cooked. And we're just gonna chop it up into small pieces. Again, we're doing like a rough chop so that we can mix it together with the imitation crab and mayo and sour cream. So I'm just chopping it one direction and then turning it and doing the other way. There are two brands of furikake that you'll see in the stores. Katsuo on the left and the Sido Fumi on the right. For a while I was choosing this brand, the Sido one, because that was my maiden name. And Sido is actually a Chinese and Japanese last name. In Japanese it's Seto. But the main difference between these two brands is the Sido Seto brand has egg yolk powder in it and the Katsuo one does not. So if someone has so if you have an egg yolk allergy, then I would choose the Katsuo brand. Otherwise, um, just try both and see which one you like. For a cocky is great for seasoning cooked rice, adding it to sushi, adding it to musubi. It's kind of like a salty, sweet flavor and has a little crunch to it. These are nori seaweed sheets and they're used for wrapping sushi. And so what we're gonna do later is we're gonna cut them into four 
You can either get the plain one, this is a plain one, or you can get seasoned seaweed. Doesn't really matter, it just depends on preference. I got the one with 30 sheets so that I have more to work with. For the rice, we're using cow rose rice, and it's a short grain rice that has a lot more starch in it, so it's sticky. And it's used to make sushi because it's sticky, but if you don't have cow rose, you can also use jasmine rice as well. First, let's add in our mayo. So half a cup of mayo. You can use regular mayo or kewpie mayo, which is a Japanese mayo. Next, I'm adding one cup of sour cream. This is an eight ounce, so I'm putting the whole thing in. I'm adding the mayo and the sour cream in first so that we can mix these two better. Next, we're gonna add in shrimp. And then the imitation crab meat. Now we're going to spread it out on a tray. Let's do the sushi bake layers. First, we're going to put the rice in. Better have more rice and less rice to work with. And this is a 9 by 13 baking pan. I got this off of Amazon. I mean, you can use your own 9 by 13 glass dish. This is about an inch layer of rice. Next is the crab and shrimp mixture. I'm going to layer it on. And again, I'm flattening it. So it looks like a casserole. Next is the tobiko or masago, which are fish eggs. And it just gives it a crunch. This is what they have on sushi rolls on the top of it. I feel like this is like the hardest thing to find. A lot of Asian grocery stores have it, but it's hard to find like which section it's in. I found it next to the imitation crab. It's usually in like a refrigerated section. If you don't have this, you don't have to use it but it just gives it a nice color and a crunch. This is almost ready to go into the oven. The last thing I'm adding is a furikake. Just gonna top it with this. I had a hard time finding furikake at my Asian grocery store. I'm gonna look down every aisle and finally found it in the spice section. It smells so good. If you don't know, Bonito Flakes, which is in Furikake, is actually Skipjack Tuna Flakes. So this is tuna. I'm just going to cover it until I'm happy. Now we're going to bake this in the oven at 375 degrees for 20 minutes. Now with the seaweed sheets, we're going to cut it in four. Have two sheets together to save time. It's like cutting paper. And cut a bunch of sheets so we can have these to serve.
Now it's cooked and ready to serve. This one's pretty big though. Oops, that's too big. <laughs> it's gonna do a smaller slice here. The way we eat it is we roll it up like this and just eat it like a deconstructed sushi roll. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, let me know who are you going to make sushi bake for. Let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Bye!